And Look, all of them, all, you all of them in Lagos, Let me all of you. them in Nigeria. Listen to me. Nobody when I'm talking, no. you keep quiet. An arrogant customer who is not ashamed. Pastor Donald, why are you not picking my calls? Why haven't you paid the, the balance up till now? Telling the Honorable Court that I have not been calling him, I have not been picking his call. It's a fabricated fallacy. He did this just to debase me. You are only, and you are the one that is being arrogant at the same time. A Nollywood veteran hopes to diversify into marine transportation. Passenger boat I did not see. My money I did not see. I wanted to report him to Amadiona. He was testing the boats. One thing do one thing, the boat sink with engine. The husband does not like the responsibilities, but he likes all the pleasures a woman has to offer. I still the lip now. That's the only person who won't pick I do go control. The dispute is real. And the judgment is binding. This is the Justice Court. Today on the Justice Court, the plaintiff Iwelu Augustine is asking the court to compel his tenant Obiora Sylvester to pay the sum of 339,750 naira overdue rent and vacate his apartment. Previously on the Justice Court, Mr. Sylvester has been my tenant for about three months now and uh, he has refused to pay my rent as a twin deal. Uh, each time I complain, I meet him for my rent. Is that he tells me the club is hard, he has businesses, he has school fees to pay all this and all that. When he, his mother was alive, his mother was a very good member of our church, this particular church now. Uh, we took her as a mother. As a matter of fact, she was the one I discussed you know you are not here to talk about. I don't, I'm not here to listen to his family history. Wait, wait, wait. You are in court. Yes, ma'am. Be very, very, very cautious of whatever you say. The reason why you are in court, you know what it's about. Okay, ma'am. And that's what I want you okay, to strictly address. Okay, ma'am. When was the last time you paid rent? Well, that was last year. Last year, this last year, the, I supposed to have balance him about fifty something thousand. Okay, uh, you've paid part of it, but you've not completed the payment. About fifty something thousand. Is that correct? Not true, ma'am. What's the position? What's your own position on it? My, he pays me as at when due sometimes ten thousand, fifty, twenty, and all that. So I can't really say he paid a complete year. And another thing, you can't tell me that everything on that list is false. Are you saying everything there is false? My Lord, I have my reasons. I presently cannot, is, cannot remember to vet everything wrote since they are not receipted. June last year, to be precise, we sat together and he brought everything, all the money he claimed, and we balanced it. That's how we got the 300 and which I initially was claiming for fifty thousand, and I said, if you are claiming you you can you um, I mean if you're claiming you owe me three thirty nine thousand naira, three thirty nine seven fifty, pay that and let me for, I'll let the matter close. I agreed. That's what he he uh, that's what he brought. I didn't debate that with him. So I'm surprised he was saying fifty thousand. And to prove it, I had a screenshot of where he wrote it. It's let here. Let me have a look at it. You see the power of evidence. Please, show me that. And can the date, why I, I can get, check it. That's a screenshot of his own calculation, my lord. I was claiming 450, but well, that is exactly what he's owing me. But he reduced it to 339,750. And since that day, ma, he has not paid me one naira. I mean, look at it. Have you seen that paper before, Mr. Sylvester? At least you're a Christian. Look at it. If you have not seen it, tell my Lord I'm lying. You are a Christian. Look at it and tell me the truth. The defendant, Obiora Sylvester, claims he made several unreceipted payments to Augustine that were not accounted for. Unfortunately, Sylvester does not have proofs for the total sum that he claims to have paid. However, he insisted that 56,000 Naira is all he owes at this time. The landlord, Iwelu Augustine, has shown an evidence of account reconciliation that substantiates the fact that the tenant had consented to 339,750 overdue rent. 
This matter is unfolding as Judge Fumi continues to cross-examine both parties. You see, you see what I'm telling you. When you come to court, you have you need to have be able to prove everything you say. And you were very quick at casting as passion at his character. You see, Christianity is not about putting on this apron you have on. It's not. Christianity is about the way you relate with the next person, your heart. Do you understand? I agree with you. You could make that mistake of not having documented every payment you made to him. He did not deny that. But that's why you are having that problem in reconciling the exact amount before me until he was able to bring out this. Is there? 339. One more thing, my lord. I don't feel comfortable with him staying there again. I don't, because he threatened you me. To, you need to serve him. I already served him, my lord. Let me have the copies of him. Show it to him first, whether you see he already has a copy, my lord. They should serve me six months as year later, not seven days. Let me have it. <laughs> Bring it. You serve me six months first before seven days. That's crafty. Okay. Yes. Don't no. move. Mm. Okay, now, as at the time this was served, your tenancy has expired. So I need to explain the new law of tenancy law in Lagos State to you. You see, before 2011, if you have a tenant in the house and you want to serve them notice to quit, excluding Banana Island, Ikoyi, Apapa, VI, but with every other area, before, when they serve you that six month notice, it must expire at the anniversary of the new tenancy. If your tenancy is to expire today, and you want it to start tomorrow, that six months, when you calculate it, must end today, which is the anniversary of the new tenancy. Do you understand me? That's the law before. But the way the law is right now, as long as your tenancy has expired. If I don't intend to renew your tenancy as a tenant, I can issue that three months notice, but the, it must not expire while your tenancy is still on. Because you are still a tenant. Then. But when your tenancy has expired in this case, do you know? The money you paid had expired. He's only required to give you seven days' notice, yeah. which is what he has done. So I don't know which lawyer you've been your talking honor. to, or you are your own lawyer. Your but I'm explaining the law to you. Okay. Your Honor, my tenant has not expired. He expires by March ending. Which March ending? This March ending? Yeah. With money you have accepted that you are owing. You don't know you're only a bona fide tenant when you are not owing rent. It's because I didn't come with evidence, evidence either. You accepted you are owing 56,000 naira. I was dealing with him as a brother. But you, you said, no, forget the 339. I'm even going to roll right now. That, and I presume that is even 56,000 naira. Even with that 56,000 naira that you have accepted you are owing, it simply shows that your tenancy has since expired. Because you have not paid up. Once is determined, that's the language. Once the tenancy is determined, that is expired, give you seven days. It's because of the way tenants take it for granted, thinking that they can stay in landlords' house forever. Mm -hmm. 
And they start playing on the technicalities of the law. That's why the law was reviewed. That's the new... I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about tenants generally. So that is the law right now. As far as it's concerned, he has done the right thing. It's seven days. If you are not owing, you have paid up, and your rent is supposed to expire in March, you are entitled to that six months. Then, because you have been paying in bits, you are not even entitled to the six months notice. Your Honor, ma. Okay. I really made mistake by the way I trusted him because the, he, uh, in the first place I told him that he played for one nine on me because the house I he he, he was a wit he's a witness. He, the work the work I did if not that work the house would have collapsed by now. He's, minute, he's a yeah. living proof. Can I say yeah. something, ma? Ma, to be frank, I gave him money for renovation. He didn't pay his rent complete. His agreement, we agreed that he won't pay agreement to me that what he used to do to renovate. I don't need to lie, but I know this is Ed. He's telling too much lie on me, one. And number two, the WC in his house, my WC, the, he broke it. When I accosted him of it, he told me that I did rob it. I should just get that from there. You know, he intimidates and tries to bully me. That's even the reason why I couldn't take him to court all this. Why he, he, I said it when I started, that he said if I bring him to court, he will take six months, three months, you know and at the end I'll get tired. That's what he told court. me. Austin, God in heaven. You know what? To, for the issue, God will judge you. Mr. Sylvester, you, 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 you can't curse anybody in this court. Smart. Let me tell you, Mr. Sylvester, uh -huh. watch your language here. Uh -huh. Because I can charge you for contempt of court. I'm sorry, man. You are not in the market, please. I'm sorry, man. And with that thing on you, that apron, I expect the kind of things, utterances you will have will be godly. You are cursing. I'm sorry, ma. Is that I'm what that uniform is for? The apron sorry. is for cursing. I'm sorry, ma, but you don't know him. You are just disgracing, <laughs> you are disgracing your church members. Order! So, anyway, the way it is now, I'll still come back to the issue of rent. But now we're talking about eviction because he has served you. Your Honor, ma. Let them give me like five months. Let me find that place. Look at his reaction. I don't even have to talk. Look at him. With in the same plate, you now turn things down. And I, and I turn everything against me because... You threaten me. From where? Yes. You, 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 you told me an Anambra man. Night. That you show me an, that you're an Anambra man. I don't know what, Austin, that, what that means. You, Austin, you can't Mr. Sylvester, I won't give you five months. Now is my time. Mm. Please. All the money you collected from me, you denied all of them because I didn't write them down. Now I'm not. You are begging somebody to extend your time to you. You are, you are still saying all this. Sorry. You really have wisdom. Sorry, ma. <laughs> sorry, ma. I'm sorry. Ma. You called my house, your second house, home before. Why? Why? Why do you? Why, Order. Do you, why are you doing like this? Mm -hmm. eh? Mr. Sylvester, give me five months. I'll five months is too much. What's the maximum period you think you can give him? I want you to... Anyway, let me hear what you have to say. I'll assist him with three months. I remember... There are another issue. There's still another issue to address on the period is giving you. Whether it's rent free or you are paying rent for that period. So when you're asking for a period of time to leave the house, have that at the back of your mind too. Your Honor. Mm -hmm. uh, let me make it for play. I'm he did less big is four months because I, he knows. He said three. Or will you give him four? No, ma. He didn't accept. He shook his head immediately. You said so. Well, son, I. I am pleading with you to make it that four months. I know I maintain that four months. 
Mm. I never had intention of this kind of uh, matter with you. But um, since it has come up now, let's take it like that. Thank you, that foremost. You, I and you, yourself. Mr. Well, Sylvester, I can I'm, allow. I'm still talking. I don't want to go long. I would have allowed the foremost. I'm still talking now, please. No, let me tell you why, so I don't waste. Let me finish what I'm saying. You can no. talk. It's only I and myself knows what all that we, we did together. This court does not know that. Um, I don't want to. They're turning back what they say, what has passed. But you know what I'm talking about. There's no two difference between three and four. Even if it, if, 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 if it, it may even start uh, that time. I didn't see more difference between three and four. I'm not even praying that it will be up to that at that time. But you understand me very well. Are you good? Mr. Sylvester, I could have left four months, but by June, my rent where I stay will expire. And my plan is to collect this one to pay where I am staying now. That is the reason. I would have asked you to stay five months. But I don't like owing my landlord. I told you. He doesn't joke with money. I'm sure you'll be watching this way by one day. He doesn't play with money. If I ask you to stay six months, I'll be owing him. And I have a problem with him. That's why I calculated that three months. It was by June, my rent will expire. You understand? I can say five months, you know me. But I'm just, my hands are tied. My hands are tied. What I'm saying actually is that there is no two different between three and four. But I won't. Um, I still maintain that. It's okay, do the four months. It's only let me owe him for one month. Do the four months, let me owe him. It's okay. Thank you. Do your four months, so you'll be good. Okay, so. I don't need the four months. If I agreed on four months. Just do it. Um, then can you give him the four months rent free? Rent free. I will do that, man, if he pays me what he's owing me. Three hundred and thirty-nine thousand seven hundred and fifty. You months. see, we have to be practical. You're entitled to your money. For now. So when can you raise the money? Which of which the fifty-six thousand? He's asking, okay, 56, how much, when do you want to pay up the 56,000? Okay, ma. I'll give him in less than two weeks. In less than two weeks. I'll even give you up to two weeks. Is that okay? It's okay, So we make it two weeks. Now, how much is the total sum you are claiming? 339,750 naira, ma. 339. Let's take it 339. If you deduct 56 from 339, what's the balance? 283,000. There will be 283,000 naira left. Okay, so, um, Mr. Sylvester. No, no, no. You cannot prove to the court that you are not in 283,000. But, however, hmm, you are accepted to be owing some sum of money. His claim, he has a proof for the sum of 283,000 naira that you have not paid. But out of, I've deducted the 56,000 naira from the total sum initially. Then the balance of 283,000 naira. Judge Fumi helps both parties to reach amicable settlement. After the break, Judge Fumi rules. You have to pay him 133,000 naira. Apart from the 56,000 you are paying in two weeks' time, 
you pay him 133,000 naira by the time you move out of the premises. Do you understand? Ordinarily, my judgment against you should be for 283,000 naira. But the court will step in to assist you to offset part of the money. Because I know you still have to look for money to get a new premises. Is that not so? Yes, ma'am. So the court will assist you to pay him 150,000 naira. <laughs> you will pay him 56,000 naira within the next two weeks. Then, within the next four months, make sure you pay him the balance of 133,000 naira. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Then I'll give you an advice. Based on the kind of relationship you've had in the past, you shouldn't have allowed this matter to degenerate to this level. Even when you wanted four months, he gave you four months free. So if you have approached him, do you understand? There's a way you probably could have worked this out. Do you, do you, do you get what I'm telling you? I'm hearing you, man. Do you do? All right, then. I did not hear thank you from you. Thank you. Now you are smiling. I hope you are happy too. And I would love the two of you to maintain your relationship for whatever it is. Work. Don't be cocky. There is a trace of arrogance in you that I see. It's not good. Sorry. Be humble. Sorry. Sorry. That's my judgment. All right.